Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Clamper Game here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing another main energy flavor I have here is Georgia Peach Sweet Tea. I have another main energy flavor in my possession, ready to demolish this can to see what this flavor is about, to give you guys my opinion on this can as well. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, this is my fourth one so far. I'm keeping count. I haven't lost count yet. G Fuel cans, I lost count a while ago. I still need to review quite a few, but I kind of do remember which flavors I tried and I kind of don't on some. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole disaster right now, but I'm trying my best to get the cans that I haven't tried yet to, you know, review them and, you know, make a video out of them for you guys give you guys my opinion on those G Fuel cans but now we're here focusing on the main energy flavor right here Georgia peach sweet tea my fourth can so far of Bang energy and I'm ready to see what this flavor is all about before we get further into the review I want to give you guys a look at the can design right here we have Bang energy Georgia peach sweet tea I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it Bang energy and the logo both of them right here in the front we have zero calories the name a nice color scheme of orange and brownish around like a little red as well loop around we got nutrition facts we got the bank energy and the information and stuff like under inspiration and stuff we have zero calories sugar and etc carbonation 18 plus to drink and loop around to the front again nothing too much in the cans bang energy cans has doesn't have much design or anything but they have nice colors that's the thing I like about them but let's pop this open mmm sizzling the crack Ooh, it smells good I'm not really hearing too much fizz in here maybe it's gonna be more like a juice let's find out right now Yeah, that's correct. I don't really get fizz in there or carbonation. I mean, you get like a Arizona tea, like the Arizona iced teas. That's what I get the taste and the texture wise. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Nothing special about this can. I don't know how this has caffeine even though it's like a Arizona juice it's like a sweet tea juice but hmm, maybe they're working their way around you know trying different ways it's not bad not bad that texture is the only thing I have mixed feelings mm-hmm you get the nice sweet peach in there then you get the sweet tea as well like both mixed together but like there's like an aggressive bit in there that like is making me have mixed feelings mm -hmm. it's like odd to aggressive i'll say mm -hmm. But they did perfect the tea, the sweet tea. It brings out a nice, the nice touch to it, and as well the peach. Peach is not too much in there, but it has a little nice touch. Sweet tea. There's more sweet tea in this can more than the peach, but the peach little hints in there, but it brings out a nice refreshing texture, refreshing taste. It just in the aftertaste it gets a little bitter, you know, a little odd. That's why I'm having like 50-50 of the feeling of the can overall they did a great job on the texture and the flavor wise but the only odd thing about it is just the aftertaste it's just maybe it's me or just the can who knows hmm. I don't know if it's supposed to be um, carbonation or fizz in here but I get like a juice I don't know. Maybe I got a deformed can or something. <laughs> uh, probably. But it's not bad. 
-hmm. Perfectly balanced as well, perfectly good. No ups and downs on either ends of the sweet tea or peach. Perfectly in the middle, 50-50. Came out with some great results. Nothing bad about it, just the aftertaste, but just the more that I take a sip of it, just like it gets rid of it and rid of it. So I'm not really too attached to the bad taste, odd taste and the aftertaste. I'm getting more into the good side, you know? <laughs> So, if I had to rate this can, one, it's not an energy can, or I might be wrong. It just tastes like in sweet, or sweet tea Arizona without the fizz or carbonation, but I might be wrong. I might have, I might have grabbed the defunct can or something, <laughs> but what would I rate it just like this? I give it a 9.4 out of 10, 9.4. Not a bad can, really busting. But does it beat any of the other cans I've tried? No. My favorite one so far is Candy Apple Crisp of Bang Energy. It doesn't beat that at all. I love that can. Still, still in the top three. It's still my first favorite. But this one, 9.4. Not the. I almost had a 10 out of 10 for sure. But just like the odd texture that's in there that I felt and the carbonation. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or. There was carbonation and I grabbed a defunct can as I mentioned many times already <laughs> but yeah not a bad can not a bad can would I grab it again probably not probably not maybe once in a while but like drinking as often probably not but well, that's pretty much I have in today's video guys thank you guys for watching catch on next with my friends peace out